Hello, everybody. We are back with a movie review for you. All right, Chris. Remember how we were super cool and we did signs for The Witcher 3? Uh-huh. All right, we should do one for this one. All right. All right, throw up the J. Wait. Isn't it backwards? I don't know. Yeah, it's backwards. You throw up the J. World. Dress world. Dun, and then you can dun, raise the roof. Dun, dun, dun. Chris, Chris, I've been waiting for this. All right, what? man. First, ask me. Do you, did Hollywood really need another Jurassic Park movie? Hey, Matt, did did uh, did Hollywood need another Jurassic Park movie? Well, Chris, Hollywood uh uh finds a way. That's terrible. I know. The fact that you have to so set tough. up your joke is the worst. I know. You're so bad at this. High five. No. Oh. I'm not celebrating your mediocrity. Hey. Hey. Compared to you, I am mediocre. Yeah, I know. Compared okay. to me, you are mediocre. All right. Let's talk the movie. Okay. So I wanted to, I wanted to get this right out of the way. Okay. And this was, this was the comparison that, that ran through my brain. And we will also try and avoid as many spoilers as possible. Yeah. Outside of the fact that you know dinosaurs get loose. Dinosaurs do get loose. Spoiler. Uh, this is a really great monster movie, but it's not a really good Jurassic Park movie. I think the first half is. I mean, here's the thing. Like, Jurassic Park is a once-in-a-century masterpiece. And every movie that you make after that is going to just be worsened and lessened. And this movie just doesn't have the magic. It's just kind of... Agreed. It, it exists. Now, that said, this movie... Um, was a ton of fun. It was. It, it did the smart thing and completely ignored Jurassic Park Lost World in 3. They did not exist. Allegedly. They were now, like side stories. Yeah, whatever. Does, to me, does not happen. Jurassic Park guide. Um, it takes place 20 years after the original. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Mm -hmm. uh, and now... The theme park super successful, and I think that's a I, I I think that's a really cool concept is that they've they they com constantly reference the original how they built up from the uh, ashes of the failure of the first park, and I, I like all the little nods like when they are going through the uh, the tour and they go in here you can see the original gates mm -hmm. stuff like that that there, there, there there's a lot of really cool nods. But let, let's talking. answer the, the, the actual question people want to know. What's the question? Is this closer to the original or the sequels? And it's closer to the original. It is, it is, it is it, closer is, to the original. There is no way that I would ever compare this to Lost World or 3. I think, I think it's better than either of them. And I think that if, I, if neither of those two come out, we'd be having a different conversation. Agreed. But the fact is, you know, Jurassic Park, huge hit. Uh, the other two just were not as good. So this one is is, is batting from behind. And I'm going to use this reference again later, but it, let, it it's it's kind of like, say, if Terminator Genesis comes out mm -hmm. and it ends up being, like, really good. Not Terminator 2 good, but good to the point where you're like, oh, 3 and Salvation. Fuck the... Well, fuck I those mean, anyway. Uh, screw those. Oops. Damn it. We did it together. High five. Yeah. All right. Um, Potty miles. But... Yeah, that's that's kind of the point. Is that it's it's a sequel that is better than the other sequels that lessen the franchise over the past twenty years. But it's fun, and that's really what comes down I, to it. I had a ton of fun with it. Although I will say that almost every character in here kind of sucks. No, I will not agree to that. That's fine. Let's let's go down the list. Sure. First of all, Chris Pratt's amazing. He's a, his character is awesome. Owen. He's 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 good. But he's almost too qualified to be in this movie. He's a Navy guy who has trained with raptors to hunt. No, he's he's the raptor trainer. He, he but, just he, but he's also you know kind of weirdly uh, excellent at everything he does. That is true. He he, he is, is a MacGuffin. He is a Mary Sue, a Gary Stu, as it were. Ah, there we go. He's a Gary Stu. Uh, and I, you, we're going to disagree on a bunch of people. Sure. Let's go through the list until we get to the one that we infinitely agree about. Oh my God! Let's actually, there's two that we agree about. That's true. Uh, All right. Bryce Dallas Howard as Claire. I thought this was her better role that she's done in a long time. She hasn't been in very many good movies, but I think she did really well in this. See, this is this is one of the times we're going to disagree. I, agree. I I think watching her and then watching all the stuff she's been in, I think I just don't like her. I cuz she just she just does nothing for me. Like I like I think she's just not good at what she does. It I happens. Think. 
I mean, it's it's, it's purely opinion based, and you know, right. I'm not an actor. What the fuck do what what the hell do I know? But uh, I just don't think she's very good. Okay, I mean, and I'm not going to be putting her on the short list of best actresses out there, but I think in this movie no. she did a good job. No. Uh, Kingpin himself, Vincent D'Onofrio, he was fun as as the obviously evil. He was so evil. Like he had like no like even like, it was kind of like every movie ever. Oh, here comes the military guy. Clearly, he's evil. Like, and like even in Jurassic Park, like the like the guy that's the guy that was the worst was the lawyer. He was still not nearly as awful as <laughs> as Vincent D'Onofrio. Vincent D'Onofrio is straight up like we can take dinosaurs and make them weapons. Yep, you're like yes, yeah, that's, oh. that's a terrible idea, Vincent. But you know who was awesome who? and his always awesome who? B D Wong. As the evil scientist, he's, he's the true villain of the Jurassic universe, yep. the Jurassic Park expanded universe, cinematic universe. He's the greatest villain. They're, they're just like, hey, make a dinosaur that's super evil, and he did it. He's just yep. like, yo, I made a dinosaur that's super evil. And I'm not going to tell anybody. If he had told them that he can camouflage thermal and and all that, well, stuff. that's that's the thing that's crazy. Like, like the monster, the dinosaur is eating things. And he's like, I can't tell you what's in it. Yeah, <laughs> especially when the cre- the guy who financed everything, the owner of the entire park, the owner is like, it's out and eating people, and it camouflages stuff. He's like, oh, that's new. Yeah, it's like, oh, well, that's not what you want. But hear. I, but I can't tell you what what else is in it. All right. Well, thank- then there was thankfully the- Gary Stu was there to tell us it was part raptor. <laughs> then there was Gray, who's the little boy, who's the autistic, uh, just kind of. I liked him in the sense that he actually felt like a real kid. Yeah. Who's going to a theme park filled with dinosaurs. Yeah, he's so hyped. super hyped and excited. Uh, he's also the kid that was in Iron Man 3, the one that saved Iron Man. Sure. Uh, I want to point out, he's great. He's autistic, but it's not ever like explained, which is yeah, kind of weird. Yeah, they don't use it as a... Usually in movies, they like to beat you over the head no. with that kind of thing. It's also, he's also part of the worst subplot, which is... Oh my god, our parents are getting divorced. Yeah. I wonder how that resolved. Oh, well, never mind. Movie's over. Yep. Okay. But now let's get to the one that we can both agree on. Yeah. His older brother, played by Nick Robinson, the character of Zach, might be one of the worst characters in any movie I've ever seen. Oh, <gasps> mom. He's the worst. Mom, why are you sending me to this dumb theme park of dinosaurs? Oh my god, why do I have to be around my kid brother? Oh, he, he is basically every angsty teenager stereotype rolled into one. And he's just so painful I, to watch every time. I, I will say that by the end of the movie, he was he was fun, but in the initial parts, he's such a but the jerk. Problem is he's so prominent in the initial parts. He's such a jerk, and like he's he's like at the point where I want to beat him with a stick because I hate him so much. All right, well, let's talk about the two people that are well. We agreed on him. Let's talk about the one that's clearly the best. Yes, our boy Nick Miller. Jake Johnson is From basically the new girl is basically good guy Nedry. I was just gonna say he's basically his character from New Girl as a scientist. Well, I mean, and he's only amazing. got the one character. I know, and it's so good. If if you're good at one role, own it. Yeah, uh, he's great. He's like the kind of Jurassic Park fanboy that loves dinosaurs. Yes, the, there's a great scene where he gets caught wearing a vintage Jurassic Park T-shirt that he bought on eBay for like two hundred dollars or mm-hmm. something. It was it was amazing. It was very cute. Uh, but let's that's enough about the acting. Let's talk about the visuals. And I think part of the reason we can trace back the lack of magic is I read an article about how it's sad that this movie basically never uses animatronics. It's and, a lot of CG. And it's all CG. And it kind of loses that magic moment. So uh, Someone made a very good point. In the scene where he's with the raptors training them, there's no reason that those can't be animatronics. No, but it, they, it, it's like CG for the sake of CG. It's 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 kind of sad because you know the real the real the original Jurassic Park had as close to living breathing dinosaurs as we could physically get, and it gave it a kind of realness to it, like when uh, when Grant's on top of the of the Triceratops. And that's the reason why twenty years later that movie still holds up. And and this one, it's like why Mad Max is going to hold up. Yeah, it just feels. I want to say soulless, but I don't know if that's... The, I think that might be a little too harsh. You know, it's just... It, it, it's not magic like Jurassic Park. It's just... like it, This could be like a sci-fi dinosaur adventure weekend. Right. Di- dino... Dino... Rex Raptor. Rex Raptor? Yeah. It's one of those sci-fi... But that, that and, sells and, it and short because the CG is really good, and but... Let's, let's be real. At its heart, it's a sci-fi movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, S-Y-F-Y movie. Uh... <laughs> Because it, it's 
it's just, you know, monsters out and we have to save everyone. Uh, but I thought I thought some of the effects were really good. I thought the Indominus, the new dinosaur, was appropriately <laughs> menacing. Right. And also in ways that made sense. The way that Gary Stu broke it down for us. Yeah, well, uh, he's the only one who. Knows. Also, props to Jurassic World for having their only uh, black character not. We thought he was going to be super dead at the end of it. Yeah, so I know we just said no spoilers, but that's a minor he's one. Fine. But it's a good one because it's that's so overplayed. Yeah, Jesus. and to the point where when he first showed up on screen, we're like, well. Wait and then they flipped it on its head. So good for Jurassic World. But I also want to point out, Jurassic World's policies <laughs> are terrible. Are ludicrous. I don't. Oh god, their containment policy. Their containment policy is six dudes with a taser, and like this giant mutated mega dinosaur gets out, and they're just like, all right, well we're gonna. He's non-lethal. We're gonna we're gonna tase it, and Gary Stu is like, no, that's dumb. <laughs> uh you know what? He reminded me a lot like Jack Bauer. Where it's just like, for the love of God, people, just listen to him. No. Everything would go better if you just listened to Jack Bauer. Also, also everything in Jurassic Park is so tenuous. Because one dinosaur gets out, complete park is destroyed. Mm -hmm. But that's just one dinosaur that's out. Like, imagine if, like, anything else broke out. Well, no, that's the whole point, is that this hybrid dinosaur is so ridiculously... It's a, house of, the it's a house of cards. No, it's because... Everything else was easily contained, but that one wasn't because they didn't know what they were dealing with. If they knew what to expect, well, B.D. Wong wasn't such a jerk, right? I don't know. All right, but point is, it's a fun movie. It's basically Terminator Two in plot structure, where all the villains of the first movie band together to save everyone in the second movie. I thought it was cool that that, that there there is a T Rex in this movie, and it's supposed to be the T Rex from the first movie. Yep, and I think that's cool, but it's not. It's not clear if you don't read the the IMDb page, right? Because it's just like a giant T Rex that shows up. But if they had mentioned like this is one oh, of the this first is the thing, original like this, this is, is one of the first things we created, right? I think I think it would have been more hype than here's a T Rex, not, not at all. Yeah. Also, the uh, the underwater dinosaur, the Molosaur, oh. they got their money's worth out of that thing. Yes, they did. That thing is great. That thing was really well done. Yeah. All right, but is there anything you didn't like? Um, besides the character of the older brother. Yeah. Um, and the overuse of CG. Yeah. It's just no. It was a fun popcorn movie. I just don't think it's it has the staying power of the original. It's just it is a sequel. I, I agree. I think I think it's maybe twenty minutes too long. Did uh Spielberg have anything to do with this? I don't recall. Yeah, you can feel that I, absence. I, I think I think it's twenty minutes too long, honestly. Okay. I think I think you can cut a little and it'd be a little better. I think the epilogue was kind of lame. I really would have liked to see the ramifications of everything. The, that the went epilogue down. super sucked. Yeah. Uh, the 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 divorce scene, which is just never brought up again, and the epilogue. Yeah, that are that just seemed kind useless. of pointless. I don't know. But would you, would you buy it on? Uh... I will. Yeah, yeah, I would. I mean, I don't. I only own. The first one. I don't own two or three. Exactly. I don't need to own the others, but I'll buy the first one. Yeah, I'll buy this one. I mean, I, I own the first one. I'll buy this one. Yeah. So, cool. I'm Matt. I'm Chris. We're the Nolan Nerds. This has been Jurassic World. Go see Jurassic World. Go see it. It's worth seeing. It, I think it is. I mean... But also, don't go see it, because I have a bet that this will not be the highest grossing movie of the year. Well, so. it already made 18. That's it? In like a night. Yeah. Damn it. So, I mean, like, go see it, but, you know, temper... Temper your expectations. Yeah. Just know what you're getting Take it into. down a notch. All right. Go to you.